Today on 3D Outdoors, we're going to talk about Apollo PEX. Alright, so we've done some re-plumbing in the old farmhouse here for Anthony and Kim. And I decided to use the Apollo PEX style system. And as you can see here, I've uh, color-coded all the lines. Pretty simple installation. I'm going to put a crimp on right now, so I'll show you how that works. But it's as simple as cutting the PEX line to the length, putting the fittings in, whatever T, L, valve, whatever you see, there's a valve right here, whatever you want to put in, and then you have the crimp piece that goes over top already slid onto the pipe, slide it over, and use the tool to crimp it in place. Pretty easy, and then they have a, a go, no-go gauge that you can measure it with. Let's go over, we'll put one of those on, I'll have Anthony uh, hold the camera here real quick, and we'll uh, show you how that works. All right, we've got our PEX fitting, screwed in already because once we put the crimp on we're not going to be able to spin it around anymore so that's an important part if you got a screw in part screw it in first and then connect your packs so you can see we've got a shut off valve on here already replacing the hot water heater that's why we're doing this portion right now you slide your crimp ring on simply slide your pex pipe into place place that crimp about halfway on the nipple that's stuck up there so put that right there, just open up your crimping tool, and there's two different sizes there, so we're using the half inch on this particular install here today. See that good? Mm -hmm. And close up your tool right around that crimp ring. And then close the handles and release. And if you want to check it out afterwards, there's like I said, there's a go no go tool, but that will seal that up on there now, and it's all ready to go. This is Dan and Anthony with 3D Outdoors, reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. You can always follow us over at our website at 3D-outdoors.com. That's where we put it all together. See you next time.